He gonna beat up the cat and call Peter. Peter. Yeah. Sugar baby, Sugar baby. nice whip, nice crib. Nice crib. I want this. I want I that. Want he that. give it to me. dropping it's your girl Elijah today checking in with y'all so I just got settled into my new bachelorette pad as you can see in the back <laughs> so of course everything's all over the place and I need to get everything situated because it's Wednesday and on Friday my man invited me well he didn't invite me he told me he was like girl we're going to an all-white party we need to go shopping okay he didn't even ask me he was just like come on we going I like that okay don't tell me you miss me just come get me all right so I'm not trying to be doing this all day tomorrow because I still need to do my hair. As you can see, mi cabeza is muy messy. Oh, so <laughs> I need to get it together. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting everything organized because I do got to go downstairs to my old apartment and finish sweeping, mopping, vacuuming, scrubbing the walls, etc. I mean, I don't, I don't have much to do because I wasn't that dirty. But still, I got to get that done in the morning. I got to wake up at 6 a.m. So right now, I'm going to do as much as I can as far as organizing and i'm going to start with my dogs because my dogs come first in my life aside from god and i want to go ahead and get their area all together because i had a lot of stuff come in so we're going to go ahead and get my dogs area together i got green turf grass a whole bunch of nice stuff and then i'm also going to cover the walls with this vinyl um curtain that i got uh, mainly because you know there's neighbors on both sides i just don't feel comfortable you know, having people just look at me like that. So I want to cover that for sure. And I'm going to put up lights and, you know, a whole bunch of nice stuff. So let's get to it, honey. Oh. All right, y'all. So I am trying to get the living room together. I decided to put my desk over there. I think that'll be cute. So let's, this is how it's looking. We'll see how it comes together in a few. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Melaja Thore, checking in with you. So I just got out the shower. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning. Just turned. Or no, it's actually 2 o'clock in the morning. Ugh. It's actually 2 o'clock in the morning. And my feet are hurting. I'm done for today. I'm about to lay down on the couch because I haven't set my bed up yet. And... I haven't even put my mattress down yet because I'm going to put carpet down. So I'm going to wait to do that. But this is how everything's looking right now. So yeah, it's a work in progress. Everything's looking really good. I like the way I set it up. I'm gonna get rid of my entertainment center though because I want my living room to be as spacious as possible. And the living room is not as big because I have my office desk in here compared to last time how I could have the stripper pole. So I'm gonna get rid of the entertainment center. But all that's gonna be done tomorrow. Right now, I'm about to chill, roll up, and relax I spent a good amount of money on all of my decor and I don't regret any of it at all everything looks really good like it's gonna complement very well and I honestly got everything from Ross my friend had told me to go to Ross and TJ Maxx and I went to Ross and y'all had no idea that Ross had so much nice stuff like nice stuff and affordable like really cheap better than walmart 
better than Dollar Tree. Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna take my chains off also. Oh, like the best. And so that is where I went to get the majority of all my decor. I love it so much. I can't wait to hang everything up and get everything situated. This with this crib, I really want it to be more upscale, high maintenance. You know, my last crib started to get a little dirty because, you know, we all go through our little depression stages where we're just not feeling it. We're second guessing ourselves. We think we're not doing what we are supposed to do in life. And that happened to me a couple times, you know, while I was in my last apartment. And so I would get real lazy and just not want to do anything and just smoke and, you know, just be lazy and make money and like make money and go lay in the bed all day so now i'm kind of at a different space in my life i'm sure of myself i know what i want i don't need anybody to make me happy and to you know motivate me to chase my dreams i can do that all on my own yes of course it's always nice to have someone there with you just like you know me i got my man now and that's definitely more of a motivation well i want to say motivation it's more of a push like i have to do well it is motivation <laughs> i have to do better you know i have to do better i have to be better and that's also why i'm wanting to carry myself differently i am successful at everything i do so this lifestyle that i'm about to embark on is going to be successful for me and then not even just that you know me with my man it's going to be successful because i am working at it like i don't usually care you know about being a girlfriend or about you know just anything i just you know do what i do have my temper tantrums my mood swings my attitudes and whatever fuck you move on to the next guy but with this specific situation it's not like that like oh i bought this lamp hold on sorry i got distracted let me show y'all I got this zapper lamp for outside. That way when there's bugs out there, they gonna get zapped and they won't be messing with me and my babies, okay? that's what caught my attention while i was talking to y'all that lamp went off and i was like it i'm not used to it yet but i really like that lamp it's a really good idea and it's cute you know whatever so yeah but yeah so i was talking about me and my man um i'm not talking about me and my man as a sense of you know bragging or you know putting too much of my personal life out there but sometimes some women don't know the reason why they don't have a man dust mm. i can't wait to get my air purifiers on but some girls don't know why they don't have a man and they don't understand it they're always single they're nothing's ever working out they're meeting people but nothing's ever getting locked in and what a lot of people don't understand what what, what a lot of women don't understand is a long lasting relationship is not built overnight you know, you can't just expect to always see eye to eye and for things to go your way. No, you don't compromise. I don't compromise. I don't compromise who I am, what I stand for, my boundaries, what I want out of a man, none of that. You have to be understanding. You have to understand. And you kind of have to be a chameleon, go with the flow. And you also have to be at a stage in your life where you don't give a fuck like where the things that are going on don't upset you and you're not you know always nitpicking at little things or things that a man may do wrong and instead of talking to him about it and letting him know i don't like that you just did this you completely cut him off ghost him or you know go behind his back or just you know argue or just whatever 
And me with this guy that I'm talking to, I feel like what's made it so successful is that I'm submissive. I'm being submissive. We're communicating. I'm letting him know, you know, my love. I don't like that. I don't appreciate what you just did. You know, I would appreciate it if you didn't do that again. Or, you know, just something, something light. It doesn't have to be, you know, don't be saying all type of crazy stuff to get, you should not have to, you should not have to get out of character to make a man do right for you. And you shouldn't have to, you shouldn't have to make a man do right by you. You all, you always have to understand a man is only going to do right by you if he really wants to. Thankfully, God has blessed me. Literally, this is a blessing from God, I feel like, because the man that I'm with right now is literally everything that I could have wanted, that I want in a man. He sees what needs to be done and does it without, you know, telling me. He's there for me. Like, he's there for me in an emotional and physical manner. Like, when I'm laying on him, it's not about all about sex. You know, he rubs my head. He is consistent with, you know, good morning. Every morning, it's a good morning. It's not always good morning, baby. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, sunshine. Sometimes it's just a good morning. But every single morning since I've met this man, it's been a good morning. Um, we don't always say good night to each other. But that's okay, you know, because sometimes we're tired. I've been talking to you all day. I'm going to talk to you in the morning, all right? <laughs> but consistency and I don't know I'm just trying to give advice for what I feel has made my you know dating life successful and then also don't settle for less hey hey y'all it's your girl Malaysia today checking in with y'all so I just got done cleaning out my old apartment I think I did a really good job as far as having three dogs multiple businesses going through and out that apartment you know what I mean it looks good you know now not much that they're gonna have to do to clean it up so now that I'm finished I could finally get my place together as you can see it is a mess in here honey well it's not a mess it's just a mess <laughs> but I'm about to go ahead and start getting everything organized outside looks really cute for my dogs let me show y'all I showed y'all last night I showed y'all last night, but y'all can see what it looks like during the day. And it's really nice, I really like it. So, the babies are out here. I know they love it. This is the old grass that the people li that lived here before me left behind. I mean, I'm kind of glad that they left it, but I wish I could have got my grass because it would blend better, but that's cute. And their playpen is gonna go over that thing. It's gonna be here Friday. But this is what the setup is going to look like. And I absolutely love it. I'm going to have my sauna right there. And yeah. It's cute. It's cute. It's real cute. Alright, so. I know they're over that heat. So I'm actually going to. I'm actually going to go ahead and start with the bathroom. Now I'm going to start with the bathroom first. Because it's easiest to do and smaller so i'm gonna hit all the little areas first i'm gonna do the bathroom and then get this hallway together get the living room and then my room so let's get started honey let's get started this is the bathroom i've already put down those i'm gonna put some leaves up i think in my shower i'm not sure yet but yeah, honey, let's get this together.
Hey y'all, so I'm about to hang up this painting that I got from Russ. I don't know how this painting is $24.99, it's this big, but honey, go shop at Ross for your decor. Perfect, perfect. My man told me about Ross and TJ Maxx. I didn't go to TJ Maxx because if I would've went, I would've went crazy. I went crazy at Ross. I spent about $500 at Ross, but it was worth it though. The way I feel about it is if I don't spend my money, who will? Who is? If I don't spend my money, I'm never going to have nothing. But I like to see my money hanging. You feel me? I like to see my money. You know? That looks really good. Cute, cute. Wait, is it slanted? I think it's slanted, y'all. Yeah, it's slanted just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Weak ass tack. Is it slanted? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, is it slanted? I think that's good. Yeah, okay. Next, I got this one. It says Soap Pamper Renew. I thought this would be really cute in here and give it a nice fresh vibe. So we're gonna hang this bad boy up too. What did I just do with the tag? There it goes. All right, so I'm gonna put this one. Right in the middle. So it's gonna go like right here. Just like that. I would say level with that. I'll put it level with the other mirrors. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do put it level with the mirror so it's gonna be right there so right there is the top so right there is where I want it dang why do they keep breaking What's pop lock and dropping, honeys? It's your girl Elijah. Thought I'd check in with you. So it is the next day. Everything is coming together really good. Thank goodness my girlfriend Bob came and she helped me set up. So we got a lot done yesterday, and I'm actually about to text her and tell her thank you so much for last night because we got lit. We got we were smoking, drinking. I'm gonna go get my hookah stuff today. So yeah, but this is how everything is looking now. It's still, it's still clutter, but not as much clutter as yesterday. So we got a lot of stuff set up, a lot of the decor set up, but 
it's coming together she got all my kitchen stuff unloaded and then this area over here is really cute so i haven't got my bedroom set up yet so the door is closed but let me show y'all what i did in here so i already stapled down this black carpet you see look it's i have a staple gun so i went ahead and stapled it down so i'm gonna cover this whole floor in black carpet but my friend bob gave me a good idea which i should already know that i'm gonna set my bed up first because i'm not gonna cover the whole floor and then cover the rest with the black carpet instead of covering everything so yeah <clears throat> But I'm about to get my ass in the shower because I got to give my dog some food. So I'm going to check in with y'all here later. What's pop lock and dropping, honeys? It's your girl Elijah checking in with you. So right now I'm running a couple errands. I'm about to go drop off all these trash bags of clothes that I have to the Salvation Army. And then go home and feed my dogs. They haven't ate today. We ran out of food yesterday. So I'm trying to hurry up and get back so I can give them some food. They're super spoiled, so they're okay.
need a receipt? Huh? You need a receipt? Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> he over here dancing. What's pop like I'm dropping honeys? So I just got back into the crib. I went and got my lashes done and I got my eyebrows eye wax. You see them? You see them? You see them? Hmm. They look good, don't they? Most of this is done. Now I'm gonna have a whole bunch of boxes sitting there because I don't have an office space yet, you see? But that's where my desk is going to be at. So, so I haven't got my office space yet. I was trying to get it, but the people contacted me and was like, we have a space available. And then I texted them and then they just never responded. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I'm so tired of that happening. Like people be acting like they got something going and they don't got it going. So I'm gonna sneeze. Like my allergies is messing with me. Like my nose is it tickling. Like I hate having allergies. It's the worst. Like, but anyway, so I got all my stuff back that somebody had stolen out of my car. I left my car door unlocked when I went to Ross and someone stole all the stuff at the back of my car. I didn't care, it didn't make me mad at all because I left my door unlocked and at the end of the day, my bank gonna give me my money right back and I'm gonna go get this stuff right back. So it was nothing. I got my toaster, my pot set, my coffee machine, I actually didn't buy my air fryer again because I seen another one that was like 150. The one I originally got was like 50 bucks and I didn't want that one anymore. My man told me to go to a different Walmart because they have more choices. And so I did and they had way more choices. So I was like, I'm not gonna buy that, that one. I want this one. So I'm just gonna wait to buy it because I'm also I'm gonna wait to buy it because I haven't even gone grocery shopping yet. So I don't have anything to cook in it. And um, then my sound bar also I didn't get because I'm gonna wait to get my sound bar because I'm about to get a projector, 210 inches to cover my whole living room wall. So yeah, and then this, my Keurig coffee machine I got, which I absolutely love. I love coffee in the morning. It helps me get my energy, help me get going. So I pretty much replaced everything and I got some extra stuff also for my dogs. But those two things, I had five things that were stolen. The two things I didn't get because I want to upgrade them actually, I'm going to get something better. And I just didn't feel like doing all that today because like I just told you, I'm waiting. Well, my toaster's over here. Gotta cut this thing off. They love me more, so they're always standing by the door. Sis, and hold on, I'm gonna put my waist trainer on real quick and put my robe on. So give me a second. I'm a waist trainer on. I wear three different kinds of waist trainers. I wear my prima donna waist trainer, then my sweat belt, then my latex. 
waist trainer. Like those are the reasons why my stomach is so flat. I don't have any seronas. But open up my Keurig. I'm actually going to go for a round two BBL. Not anytime soon though, because of course my body's still settling. But from the results that I have, I already know that I want to go for a round two. Like, um, and trust me, I don't care what nobody has to say about don't go, you don't need it. Oh no, don't do it. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. I'm gonna go do it anyway, and I'm gonna look even better than what I look now. I know that how's that possible, right? To look better than I look now, it's, it's insane. But I personally want my butt to be a little bigger, which is why I'm going to get around to because it's not gonna be like ant booty or nothing like somebody with some of these YouTubers look with the ant booty and the little bitty legs. I'm not gonna look like that. My thighs are already thick. I just want a little bit more projection. Like when I stand like regular, that's cool. But when I'm like this, that's how my butt to look when I'm standing up straight. So how it scoots out some. So I just want a little bit more butt. And then my hip dips kind of came back a little bit because of course, when you get um, your BBL, if you have hip dips, the fat has to have something to grow onto. So if you have hip dips, the fat is going more than likely going to go away a lot because you have no fat there for your hip dips. And I did, and I had really bad hip dips. So my hip dips kind of came back just a little bit. I still have hips. Like I have hips when I, you know, I have hips. But um, I just want a little more hip. Like it kind of went down some. So I want some more hip. And that's also why a lot of people go get a round two BBL. Because of course, like a lot of you know, you do your body absorbs 30% of the fat and then you do experience a little bit of shrinkage um, throughout your BBL. I mean, I still look amazing, you know, but I know what I want. So why not? I only live, you only live once. And if you got the money, go do what you want to do. And so I'm going to get around two probably in about six months next year, probably around my birthday again next year, I'll go get another one or probably before then but I have to gain weight again. So that's why I say six months time because I won't, I won't be able to gain that much weight now. And I'm still, you know, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I might work out some, I don't know. I might work out and see how I look. And if I still wanna do more, then I will. But I don't know. I just want more hips and more ass, you know? So where am I gonna put this coffee machine? I guess I could put it right over here. I put like all this stuff on it. The dogs wanna come inside. Let me open the door for them. Alright, and next, I got my pot set. This is only $19 from Walmart. I love Walmart. They got everything. I don't see how, why people shop at Target. It's so expensive. Like, you can get the same thing for a cheaper price. So these are not as big as I thought it was going to be. This is kind of small. 
but for $19, it'll work. I still have to go to the store and get a big, bigger pot because this pot is big, but it's small, you know? So, stainless steel, we like it. I'm gonna need a big pot, like a really, really big one, because I like to make caldo. And that pot, caldo, well, that'll be like enough for just a couple servings. Take this plastic off. I can't wait to get my air fryer and go grocery shopping though. good morning so this is how everything is looking i know it still looks like nothing has been accomplished but it has you see i broke down all those boxes i gotta just i paid too much money i'm not gonna take these to the trash the trash man gonna come get them and i just got that's all for my office over there and that's just a mess from last night but everything's coming together i don't know what i'm gonna do with my pole because it's not going to fit in here this is going in my room my room is not at all done and this is the restroom a mess too ready for an all white party to go with with my boo thing i'm already pretty much done getting dressed i right, did my hair how we looking how we looking how we looking see i'm not doing a red lip tonight i kind of like this like brown on the outside with the nude in the middle y'all i've been doing i've been on my makeup shit lately so let me set this right here so y'all can finish Getting ready with me. Okay. Okay, honey. Okay, honey. Sorry, I did my hair. I'm gonna go away. You probably here right now. It's just a 
So baby is here. What else I need to do? I got my lipstick. What else do I need to do? Put my clothes on. Let me put my clothes on, y'all. Tonight, honey. Hmm. Try to get it on. Jeez, please. Ass is fat. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, this is cute. Next, Chanel. Next, my watch. Super cute and casual, not too much, body looking good. And then I got these shoes from Steve Madden for like $140. Really cute shoes, let me show you. It's a mess kinda, not too bad of a mess, but I'm about to go, so you know. All right, so I got these shoes to match my dress from Steve Madden. Ain't they cute, girl? Super cute. I already got my socks on. So let me just get this stuff out. I'm definitely gonna start doing my makeup because I love the way I look when my makeup is done. It's so, so beautiful. And they leather and they're white 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 like my dress I got them in a size 10 perfect I can't wait to show y'all my boot thing it's so cute and if you want to see how this outfit looks Go to my Instagram, at Melijah Thore. I'm gonna have some pictures up. You know. Hush. Yep, that's it. I'm gonna do some color. I lost my red lipstick, or else I will put on a red lip. And I don't like wearing any type of lipstick. I don't like my lipstick to be all over the place. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and suffice because this is cute, but this is like a daytime look. I don't know what I did with my red lipstick, but this MAC is gonna have to work because nude lip is just not my thing. Much better. There we go. Cute. Let me do a little bit more. Chanel, I only have a little bit left. Chanel lasts a long time though, because I've had this since my birthday last year. And honey, it sure did last me. Oh, it smells good. All right, I'm ready to go. You ain't smoking. You ain't trying to get me. You ain't smoking none when he out. And never put your trust in us. I got a bank full of fun.
y'all. So now I'm gonna set up my vanity. Well, I already set it up. I'm gonna put these pictures up here. I'm gonna put one here and a two Marilyn Monroe picture that I have up here. Let me try to hurry up because I ain't trying to do this all night, okay? Like at all. Right in the center, right like that. There we go. I'm going to put these two right here. So this is how it's looking so far. I got the lights I just put up around my bed, you know, so when, when we in here making love, it's like, you know, a little bit more of a vibe. And then tomorrow I have to go get some more black carpet to put right here. I already have some, but as you can see, they are different, uh, different styles. This one's more of a plush and this one's more this one's fur so the plush is cute i actually really like the plush but i like the fur also a little bit better so i'm gonna take this back and exchange it for the fur because i mean i actually even like the plush i should have got the plush it's way more sexy but damn it, now I want to do the plush. Cause look how nice that looks. And look at all this dust everywhere. Thought I met you at the wrong time. Then you caught me on that one night. Girl, I wanna know how this thing get out of my control. Zip line into your timeline. Hey, that body don't lie. I didn't care for the hype, yeah. But when I saw you tonight, ooh, girl, you know just what you're doing. I'll go a thousand miles to show you that I'm right for your love. Hey, keep breaking necks when you're passing them by. Make sure they know that you're taking love in your vibe. Let's be forever tonight. And I will let you make up your mind But I can't wait Where you coming over? Let me be your chauffeur So I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog of me decorating my new bachelorette pad. I'm pretty much almost, I'm pretty much done. Now I just have to get my office space so I can get the rest of these boxes that you see laying around and get them to the office. And then also my man's going to come and help me 
hang up my TV and get it wall mounted. We just haven't done that yet because I don't want to do it by myself and I don't want it to fall. And then um, he came over last night, you know, we broke in my bed or whatever. And um, the stud finder that I have is kind of weak. So he wants to wait till I get the stud finder that makes a noise. That way you know it's on there, right? Because I don't want my TV to fall. But um, other than that, everything's good. I got everything together. So I'm about to relax and um, get ready to upload this video. And yeah, honey. So yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I hope I gave y'all, you know, a couple of cool tips and ways that you could set up your apartment. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed. Till next time. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.